we want to evaluate each expression. We first have the absolute value of 3 minus 8. When simplifying an expression with an absolute value, we treat the absolute value as grouping symbols and begin by simplifying inside the absolute value. To find this difference, if it's helpful, we can write it as a sum. 3 minus 8 is the same as 3 plus negative 8. So let's go ahead and show that. So we have the absolute value of 3 plus negative 8. So now we need to find the sum, which would be the same as this difference. So if we can look at this and know that the sum is negative 5, that's great. But let's also show it on the number line. If we were to start at 0, and then for positive 3, go right 3 units. So let's just say positive 3 is here. If we add negative 8 or subtract 8, that means we would go left 8 units. So there's 3 units back to 0, and then 5 units in the negative direction, which would bring us to negative 5. 3 plus negative 8 equals negative 5, and so does 3 minus 8. So this is equal to the absolute value of negative 5. Now using the formal rules to find this sum, because we're adding integers with different signs, we take their absolute values and subtract the smaller value from the larger value. So the absolute value of negative 8 is 8. The absolute value of 3 is positive 3. We subtract, which does give us 5. But because a negative 8 is outweighing the positive 3, our sum is not positive 5, it's negative 5. And now to determine the absolute value of negative 5, we need to determine the distance negative 5 is from 0. And remember, distance is always positive, and therefore absolute value is always positive. So because negative 5 is 5 units from 0, the absolute value of negative 5 equals positive 5. Showing this on the number line, let's say again negative 5 is approximately here. The distance from negative 5 to 0 gives us the absolute value of negative 5. So because this distance is positive 5 units, the absolute value of negative 5 is 5. Now let's look at our second example. Here we have the absolute value of 158 minus 305. Let's write this difference as a sum. We have the absolute value of 158 plus negative 305. To find this sum, we'll go ahead and use the formal rules for adding integers. So the first thing to recognize is this sum is going to be negative because the negative 305 is going to outweigh the positive 158. So we know the sum is negative. And now to find what negative number this is, we take the absolute value of both numbers and subtract the smaller value from the larger value. So the absolute value of negative 305 is 305. The absolute value of 158 is positive 158. So now we take the larger number and subtract the smaller number. Before we subtract the ones, we need to perform an exchange, but because we don't have any tens, we go to the hundreds, change the three to a two, which would give us 10 tens in the tens place value, but we still need more ones, so we perform another exchange. We have nine tens, and then we add 10 to the ones, giving us 15 ones. So 15 minus eight is seven, nine minus five is four, two minus one is one. So because this difference is 147, and we know the sum is negative, this sum, which equals this difference, is negative 147. And now the absolute value of negative 147 is equal to the distance negative 147 is from zero, which is 147 units, so this equals positive 147. Showing this on the number line, let's say negative 147 is here. So the distance from negative 147 to zero gives us the absolute value of negative 147. And because this distance is positive 147 units, that's the reason why the absolute value of negative 147 is positive 147. I hope you found this helpful.